In Snake Catcher Part 4, we're going to introduce label nodes and create a scoring system. First, we need to create a label node and set some attributes of it. And then we need to make an integer to store the actual number of the score. And then we need to update that number as well as the label. To create the label node, it's pretty much the same as a sprite node except slightly different. Find the section of code where you've created your right button. We're going to put it under there. The variable we're going to create is called score label, and it needs to be set to self dot because we need to use it in another method below. Very similar to creating a sprite node, make sure you use a capital L and a capital N. The only difference between a sprite node and a label node is you need to set the text on the label node. This is using a keyword argument, so you need to write text and then an equal sign, and then you need to put some writing in quote marks. Our label is going to say score colon space and then a zero. We need to set some other attributes on this label node before we add it to the screen. The first one is the anchor point. The reason I'm setting the anchor point is because if you don't and the score keeps increasing, then the score and the colon are going to move slightly and it looks a bit funny. So we're going to set the anchor point to 0, 0. Now I'm going to set the label node's position by using dot position. I'm going to set mine to 20 and 718. Now I'm going to set the font. To do that, I need to do score label dot font. Sometimes I can't remember the order that the size and the font name go in. So to find out, I double tap on label node, tap on help dot dot dot, and then tap on font. This tells me I need to specify the name of the font and then the font size, and it needs to be a tuple. To get the name of the font, I can just use the Assets menu. Just make sure you're on the Font tab. I'm going to set my font size to 30. Lastly, like anything that you create, you need to add it to the screen by using self.addChild. Now that we've created the label node, let's make it work. To make the label node work, we actually need to keep track of the actual score as a number. To do that, I'm going to put another variable up here called self.score and set it to zero. This self.score is going to store the actual number where the score label is going to store the writing, the score the colon, and then the space, and then the number. To add to your score, we need to go down and find where we do the explosion. This part of the code here plays an explosion when the snake hits with the block. That's the perfect time to update the score. I'm choosing to add five points each time you get a snake. So this line is setting score to whatever it was before, but add five. Now that we've updated the number, we also need to update the label node.
I'm going to set the dot text attribute of the label node to score and then a colon and then a space and I'm going to add that on to the self.score. When you try to run this code, it's not going to work because it's trying to concatenate or join a string to an integer. To get around that, we need to convert this into a string by putting str around it like this. Now every time you get a snake, you get five points.